welcome to my channel. My name is Noma Swazi and thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Please click the notification bell so that you are aware when I drop new videos and be sure to like, comment and share with other people around you. I'd really appreciate that, but let's go. So this is a review channel and the basis is I really want to expose as many black owned brands as possible. So the aim of this channel is to basically review black owned brands and see what the process is like uh, from how to order, how long you have to wait uh, for delivery and for shipping. A lot of the time and going into lockdown we saw a rise in black owned brands and some of them have just been around for a long time and we do plug one another on this person sells this, this person does that but a lot of the time there's no follow up like we don't know exactly how this business model works we don't know what the customer service is like we don't know what the turnaround time is we we don't know the process so this is something that has deterred a lot of people from just going and just asking a black owned brand for business so this is why my channel is basically here i want to be the guinea pig that will buy these products and let you know what my end user experience is and also what the process around it was and sometimes maybe a little bit of a backstory on the people behind these brands as well because so, that's amazing to know so today to kick it off uh, we are reviewing suela wines right and if anyone knows anything it's like suela wines was created by suela um a woman from the northwest if i'm right and who went to cape town and now is running one of the i think biggest black owned uh wine companies in the country so it only makes sense since i love wine that i check out her products so i've never actually had suela wines before so i did decide to go get a little bit of white to get a little bit of red i'm a red wine kind of girl but i did see that on their website they don't really have like a mellow which is my favorite but they did have a red blend i'm not big on blended wines but i figured for today why not have a have a look and then from there we also have i got shin and blanc as well just to taste so this was all available on their website which i have linked down below as well in the description box if you'd like to have a look but um so i'm in joburg and this wine company runs from cape town so the first bottle that i got was the chenin blanc and that cost me 80 rand and the dry red blend 2017 was 96 rand which is all fair they're both under 100 rand uh, that's fine uh the subtotal then was 176 but the shipping on the bottles because i bought more, less than five bottles was 135 rand um so that made my grand total 311 right so only got the two i would like to try the collection as time goes but we'll see how that goes some of us are working with budgets here okay <laughs> not that rich <laughs> and a little bit more about um suela wines is about the founder she is a biotechnologist by profession and a winemaker and her vast experience within the industry ranges from production to quality assurance in wine and spirits so suela's philosophy on wine is if we don't follow our passion there's no value to our existence which is i think something that a lot of us can agree on and she lives through that with her brand so that's enough talking let's get into it i'm gonna have a little bit of a the chenin blanc so this is what it looks like i don't know if you guys can see there you go that's what it looks like and i'm gonna pour myself just a little bit <laughs> like the bottle it's been chilled i don't like ice with my wine so myself a lot a little bit a lot and 
Cheers. Mm. Oh, okay. So, this is really good, firstly. Um, that's really, 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 really good. Let us talk about the type of wine. Mm. Chenin Blanc, for those that don't know, is a white wine. Um, this is not as Chenin is not supposed to be as dry as, and and as bitter, I guess, as Sauvignon Blanc is. So, for someone who struggles with Sauvignon, um, this is really a great alternative. It is part of the dry white family, but it is much sweeter, and this is actually quite delicious. It's really well balanced. Ooh. It's really well balanced. It's got just enough zing, you know, but it's still very, it goes down much easier than a typical uh, Sauvignon Blanc for those that aren't used to it. Mm? All right, that's wine number one. But we're gonna have a look at the second wine now, which is the Red Blend. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, there you go. Great, and this needs me to pop it open. This is interesting because I have nails on. <coughs> so it's not gonna work. So in the meantime, let me tell you a bit more about red wine. So my favorite is Merlot, and that is the driest of the dry. And then that's followed by Cab Sav, which this is slowly becoming my favorite, actually. I think the bitterness, or, or I just like the balance of a cap sav more than the just very wood, woody taste of a Merlot. Um, but I, I absolutely love dry red wine. So I was really a little disappointed, I will say, when I realized that like they don't actually have a dry red wine. Um, so here it is. I'll let it breathe a little bit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is just me trying to be like a wine person. I just like the taste. Okay. I can smell, I don't know what I'm saying. It just smells good, it smells like wine. But it does have a, a sweetness to it that Merlot doesn't usually have. It's the berries in this. I don't know. Blend of 53% Cab, cab Sav, 20% uh, Merlot, 20% Sangiovese, 3% Malbec, 3% Pinot, and 1% Rubinet. So, sounds good to me. Let's have a taste. Ooh. Hmm. It's a very interesting taste. So when you first taste it, it definitely tastes like Merlot, right? So right at the tip of your tongue, you taste the Merlot. But as you swallow it, it doesn't have a it doesn't have an aftertaste at all. It, it it goes down like a cab serve, so it goes down really smooth. But at first taste, it's definitely mellow. This is actually quite delicious. It's like the love child of all my favorite wines. Like it's got bits and pieces. Like I love, I love the taste of, or I love how smooth the cab serve goes down. But I absolutely love the taste of a Merlot, and this tastes like a Merlot but goes down like a cab serve. That's so interesting. I might just be converted. This is amazing. Wow. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I've never, I've never had, I've never had a blend quite like this. I've had blends before, but like the blends are usually um, the actual grape blends. So, so it's, grapes mixed with berries like things that you'll get like in your protein um type wines but this this is nothing like that this is genuinely 
a Merlot when you drink it, but it goes down like a cab serve. It's quite smooth and, and kind of has a sweet aftertaste, which is really nice. This is genuinely amazing wine. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, on the turnaround time for me, I ordered this wine on the 25th and I think it was delivered, uh, when was it delivered to me? I, I don't remember the delivery date, but I think it was like about three, between three to five days um, in, in the time that I had actually um, ordered it and uh, it was quite simple. I ordered, I got the confirmation mail with all of my order details. Then once it was out for delivery, I did get a text first and then I got a call from the driver just to find out if I was in the area and if I was available to come and, 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 and get the delivery. So I'm working from home, so that's not a problem. So that was pretty nice. So yeah, I got it I think on the 24th or I ordered it on the 25th and then I got it around the 28th. So that's not bad at all. Um, I, I definitely love this. I didn't expect to like this. I was actually expecting to hate this because I don't like blended wines. But this actually really surprised me. This is so good. I've got a bottle to finish now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And please do like, comment, share this video with your friends or your family anyone you think that this would be really helpful for or just fun to watch and please also leave any suggestions or recommendations of what product i should buy next to give you guys a full review on as well because i'd love to do that i'd love to have more ideas from you guys i'm gonna do gin next so please be on the lookout for my next video i already have it so I'm just going to film it and I'm just going to record it and then I'm going to share it with you guys uh, just so that you know. But uh, please stay tuned. But it's not just an alcoholic channel, I promise, I swear. Oh, it's good though.